They are at the start of their journey. They think outside the box and they often come up with bright ideas. Their projects are innovative. They are a new generation of business people and their distinguishing features are creativity and enthusiasm. This is the world of startups, the program about IT developers and the industry of startups. Hello, this is the world of startups, and I'm Sey Kakishev. The period of the 1990s was the dawn of large technological giants. The millennium is known for the birth and rapid development of the social networking websites. And we live in the days of significant breakthroughs in the field of digital technologies. And in this program, we talk about people who make them. Watch on this edition. Find out about the PancakeBot 3D printer, a bionic butterfly and RoboGames 2015 in our review. Spying, delivering and taking photographs all combined in a helicopter. Explore the possibilities of a quadrocopter with our correspondence. A wallet may be replaced by your finger, which will make your shopping easy, promised the founders of the FinPay project. Last week brought a lot of news about innovations in the IT sphere, such as 3D printers that make real pancakes, bionic butterflies that can fly gracefully, and many others. Watch the news. To make delicious pancakes, you don't have to be a good cook anymore. It is enough to have a 3D printer called PancakeBot. This device has been adapted to make pancakes. Plastic is replaced by dough. The pancakes are made on an inbuilt pan heated at an appropriate temperature. The mouths are filled with a thin jet of the dough in accurately measured doses. The automated process is patented. You can color your pancakes to make your own design. To print multicolor pancakes, you have to manually use different colored mix and fill in the empty areas left in the design by hand. Then turn the print on and watch it make pancake masterpieces. Scientists at Festo created a bionic prototype of a butterfly. They called their robotic insect e-motion butterflies. To coordinate a group of the flying insects, 10 infrared cameras are set running at 160 frames per second. They spot their location at the flight so that the bionic insects never collide on each other. The frequency of the flapping of their wings is from 1 to 2 flaps per second, and the highest speed of flight is 2.5 meters a second. Because of the low volume of the battery, the bionic butterflies perform their flight for about three to four minutes and then they need to be charged for about 15 minutes. RoboGames is the Olympics of robots. The annual 11th event was recently held in San Mateo, CA. The best minds from around the world competed in over 50 different events. Combat robots, firefighters, Lego bots, hockey bots, walking humanoids, football, sumo bots and even androids that do kung fu. Some robots were autonomous, some were remote controlled. The most exciting one was between gladiator bots and the weight category range was very wide from 150 grams to 100 kilograms. It was quite amusing to watch junior league robots compete. These robots were constructed from Lego parts. The gamers were allowed to use such weapons as circular saws, flame blast weapons and tasers. The spectators were enjoying the shows from a safe distance and were protected with a bulletproof glass screen. Quadrocopters and non-pilot drones are on everybody's lips today. Recently, we have received the following video message. Sig, this quadrocopter will reach your studio. In which spheres and industries are these devices used? Find out in the upcoming report. Konstantin Kikvitsa is a well-known Kazakhstani traveler and he is keen on safari travels. But unlike safari hunters, instead of a gun he uses a camera for taking photographs and a GoPro camera. When hunting for the best shot he uses a quadrocopter. This mini helicopter has been very handy for Konstantin. He used it on snow caps of the Zaili Alatau Nature Reserve and on the sandy hills of Moon Kum Desert.
With the help of multicopters or drones, we can get unique photos made from height of bird's flight. That is, we can make shots that are impossible to make down here. The benefits of using quadrocopters for photo shooting are their simplicity, pictures made at a low price and light and portable equipment. The standard drone, when dismantled, can be placed in a car boot. By the way, these drones are easy to modernize. For example, one can enhance their work by installing sensors. Recently we have installed the GPS navigation in the system. Thanks to this, we can now make longer flights from 1 up to 2 kilometers. Apart from taking photos, the quadrocopter can do the job of a courier. Amazon uses drones in their delivery service. The drones deliver small parcels in an automated mode for a distance of 20 kilometers. The average time of delivery is no more than 30 minutes. 30 minutes. These generations of vehicles, it could be a 10-mile radius from a fulfillment center. So in urban areas, you could actually cover very significant uh, portions of the population. Um, and so it won't work for everything. You know, we're not going to deliver kayaks or no. table saws this way. Right. Quadrocopters can also be easily used as Wi-Fi routers. Facebook has launched Project Aquila, a paragliding device that will bring the Internet flying over certain areas. Recently, the company has successfully tested the equipment. By now, owners of quadrocopters try their gadgets in different ways. As you can see, Konstantin Kikvidze's drone managed to fly to the office of our program. Imagine you don't have to carry a wallet and credit cards to do shopping. And to pay for goods, you just need to touch finger scanner like in a science fiction movie. Well, this may soon become a reality. A system of biometric payments has been created and developed by a startup from Almaty. Their project is called Fintay. Find out how reliable and safe this technology is from the upcoming report. Watch trends. Sci-fi biometric technologies are becoming a reality. Today it is possible to open doors having scanned a person's eye and you can enter your laptop account using your fingerprint. What's bringing it front and center today is what you just mentioned. When Apple put a finger scanner on the iPhone, it basically brought the technology to the consumer. And so again, what we have is a convenient way to more securely provide access to information or to consummate a transaction. Biometric innovations can now be found in Kazakhstan too. A startup from Almaty from Project FinPay have developed a technology that will make it possible to use your fingerprint for consumer transactions. We have created a device that combines a biometric scanner and a microcontroller that enable to get a sample of your fingerprint and on the server part we link it to your credit card. Currently, the project is at a prototype stage, but even now, one can see the principle of how FinPay works. To register in the system, you should come to your bank, where you will be asked to leave your biometric data, such as your photo, made in the place, and your fingerprints. So literally, the whole internet banking will be on the account owner's fingertips. If you want to use this internet banking service, you will need to take a photo of a barcode of what you want to buy using special mobile app FinPay, and apply your finger to a scanner. After that, the transaction will take place. We don't keep your fingerprints. We keep their codes, that is a binary code, and then we code it as well. All this data is kept not on our server or a third party. All the information is kept on a safe DSS server that belongs to your bank. It is then received and sent to our server. In the future, the founders of FinPay are planning to install their biometric scanners in all large stores of Kazakhstan. Ideally, these devices should be later replaced by one of the functions of a mobile application. Well, that's all for now. You've been watching the world of startups, and I'm Seri Kakishev. We'll get back in a week to tell you about the hottest news in the world of high-tech. See you next time on Kazakh TV. В эфире Казах ТВ.